We are the comprehensive place if you have a, a sexual health need. We have support from physicians, expertly trained nurses, and uh, you know a whole team of experts in sexual health. Throughout my career, it's just kind of been a theme of something that I was interested in, along with mental health and addictions, which also you know, are somewhat relevant to our community. I'm a proud Métis Two-Spirit person. Um, I became interested in sexual health, I think through a combination of things actually. Um, you know, as a sexual and gender minority, things like the HIV and AIDS crisis uh, had predominantly affected Two-Spirit LGBTQI plus people. And, and then when I became a nurse, um, I had the opportunity to do some volunteer work around sexual health. You know, it just really piqued my interest. You know, people's sexual health needs were largely ignored or overlooked during the pandemic. So now what we're really seeing is issues that existed prior to the pandemic have become exacerbated. So many people are raised with the perception that sex and sexuality are sort of taboo. They're not things we talk about. And so unfortunately that translates often into unhealthy sexual behaviors. We just need to do a quick sexual health history, which will help us understand which tests you need. If we had open and honest conversations about sex and sexuality, I think people would be less ashamed and much more likely to access services. Um, I always wear identifiers. You know, I've got my little Métis flag that I beaded. I've got my pronouns on here. I've got a little two-spirit pin. And I think these little signifiers, they help make bridges between people. It's just an opportunity to say, hey, you know, oh, are you Métis? I'm Métis too. You know, I'm queer too. I remember during the pandemic, I was vaccinating uh, for COVID and I was at a Métis clinic and a mom and their child came to get vaccinated uh, and their child was non-binary. They saw my pronoun pins, they smiled, they sat down, we did the vaccine, everything went well. They left and then a few minutes later, the mom came back and said, you know, I just wanted you to say my child was so happy to see your pronoun pins and to see another uh, queer indigenous person. So it was just like one of those moments where it just felt like I was in the right place at the right time doing good work.